It's a sketch comedy podcast show. I don't know. Are we in competition? What do you think? I don't know. I don't think Welcome, everybody. Administrative announcement. Welcome to my cocktail party. I'm so glad. Wow, we have 15 or 20 people here. I just moved to Denver, so it's great to meet everybody. And we're going to go around the room. We're going to do a quick icebreaker. Say your name, say what you do for work or something fun, and then one of your favorite things to eat for breakfast. Stuart, would you be willing to go first? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Of course. I'll, I'll go first. Um, uh, I, I guess, uh, yeah, my name's Stuart. Um, and, uh, I, I host this silly podcast thing that I like to do. Um, and then for, for breakfast, I really actually like uh, eggs. Benedict is my favorite, but I don't get it as often as I'd like, but I love eggs. Benedict. I love eggs. Benedict. I also like hollandaise sauce. Hey, that gives me an idea. If you like Eggs Benedict or if you've ever bathed in hollandaise sauce like Stuart and I, come and meet us in this corner over here. We're going to do a VIP hollandaise meetup. So check us out afterwards. All right, listen up. This is the hollandaise meetup group. And I was looking around at this party and these other chums don't know the benefits of Eggs Benedict. So I thought we'd have a little VIP hollandaise party within the party. What do you guys think about that? I, I don't understand why anybody doesn't love Eggs Benedict. It's amazing that there were six of us that actually came out and said for breakfast, it was Eggs Benedict that was the thing. I think it's really cool that all of us like joined up like this. These six of us really are the VIP party within the party. I think it's so cool that actually, Randall, you happen to have brought hollandaise sauce with you. Do you guys want to take a shot of hollandaise sauce? I'll go get some shot glasses. Yeah, never leave home without it. Any volunteers who would make a toast to hollandaise sauce? Anyone want to say what they love most about either Eggs Benedict or hollandaise or just a favorite memory that you've had with hollandaise sauce? My name's Nancy. I guess I, I, if it's okay, I would love to share my story about Eggs Benedict. Yeah, Nancy, please, can we get a round of applause for Nancy willing to step up and share her holidays testimonial. Nancy, the stage is yours. So when I was a little girl, my uh, my parents actually were like fundamental Christians and they didn't believe in hollandaise sauce. Oh. And so when I was older, I, I had a friend I stayed the night, and then the next day we went to Denny's for breakfast, and uh, I saw that they had hollandaise sauce on the Eggs Benedict, and I got it, and it was the most delicious thing I had ever eaten. It was like the forbidden fruit of breakfast. Baptized by hollandaise. Who among us has not had that moment? I think that's really cool. By the way, if you have been baptized by hollandaise sauce, Meet us over in this other corner because we're going to do a VIP of the VIP. So I'll see you over there. All right. Welcome to the Church of Hollandaise. Uh, I'm curious. Can we do another round of icebreakers? Maybe someone here would volunteer to say your name and... I guess just something that you dream about. I'd love to hear that. Hank, you met me earlier. You know, I was I was talking about how I go and work out a lot. You said that you liked Eggs Benedict because you'll get in a heavy lift day and then you'll just pound about 10 pounds, I think you said, of eggs. And then just to break it up a little, you add the hollandaise. I don't know. I'd just love to hear what do you like? What do you dream about? Uh, well, I don't actually like dream at night. I, I take these uh, pills to help me sleep. Yeah. So I guess I'm not re really the right person to, to talk to about this. Right. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I remember you handing those pills out a few minutes ago and I cautioned you against doing that. And I'm glad that we're all here to think about our dreams as it relates to church or hollandaise sauce or just eggs benedict. We all celebrate that. Hey, um, uh, it's Stuart again. I do have a dream. I, if yeah. it's okay if I interject. Oh, yeah, please, Stuart, let's hear it. Okay, so uh, my dream is that I can quit my day job and just do my podcast on a daily basis. Like, that's kind of my dream. We can help you achieve that dream, and I love that dream, too, is that if you like the Sketch Comedy Podcast show, if you'll leave a review, because every review helps Stuart get a little bit closer to his dreams, 
And that's really what it's all about, right? Following our dreams. You know, one other idea would be if we could get a Hollandaise mint brand to actually sponsor this show. I think that'd be amazing. That would be amazing. If you have a podcast, um, go and chat there with Stuart. But if you don't have a podcast, go over to this area and we're going to do actually a VIP within the VIP within the VIP. So meet me over there in a minute. I'll see you there. All right. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Well, you've arrived here because of life decisions. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? My name's Earl. I know like the TV show. I don't have a podcast. I don't I don't really have a lot of friends. I don't really have a lot going on in my life, but I appreciate you bringing me to this party. Earl, welcome. It is so great to meet you. I remember seeing you in the neighborhood and I invited you to come over. You are welcome here and it's it's helpful that we all have name tags so we can make some new friends. Uh, what is your dream, Earl? Do you have a dream? Is there something that you want to do or accomplish in life? My dream is to help others really find their internal like drive and and move forward in their life and 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 just be very very successful your dream is to help people be more successful and find their internal compass their their north star of sorts i like that what would you say is a good way to do that have you ever heard of amway <laughs> 